Hey everyone, welcome to another SMP Relatable. I wanted to do a part two of the alternate investment strategy just to address some of the questions that I was asked after releasing that video yesterday. One of the first questions was risk. Of course, there's any risk with any investment strategy, but one of the things we wanna try and do is mitigate that risk through the appropriate knowledge, make sure you use the appropriate professionals, and of course, protecting yourself along the way with the right insurances. The other one was return on investment. Well, the first one, when we look at savings accounts, at best, you're gonna be getting one to 2% on your saving interest. In saying that, there's big speculation that we might be heading towards negative interest territory. And if that were to happen, you may actually find that you actually have to pay the bank money to hold your money in a savings account. So if there's an opportunity for you to get an eight to 12% return on your money with having your savings that you can add to at any time, then that might be an opportunity for you. If we're talking about the equity in your home, the equity in your home is actually earning you zero interest. It's actually doing nothing for you. You might as well have that money, put it underneath your mattress and sleep on it. Whereas if you were to draw that equity out as an investment loan, we're seeing our clients be able to achieve those loans at 4% or lower, even down to 3.5%, depending on what your loan to value ratio is. So although there would be a payment for this particular loan at say 4%, if you were getting a return of eight to 12%, you're going to still see a profit margin there. And then that's, if that's the case, we can still use that profit money to obviously be paying down our owner occupied home loan or whichever home loan we're trying to pay down at the time, might even be that investment loan. The only one that I can't really speculate on is superannuation, more, more so because there's been some really good returns on some superannuation funds here. But my, the financial planners and also some of the clients who are utilizing this fund, what they're saying is that it just gives them more flexibility and more control over their money and it, than what their actual super fund is actually providing them. So I just wanted to address some of those questions that were given to me. If you have any more, leave a comment down below, message us or make it a booking via our Facebook page if you'd like to learn more about what this investment fund is. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share with your friends and family. And remember, anything worth having in this life, we want to save, make and protect.